hello guys and welcome to the channel today i want to show you a simple trick for mixing kick and bass to allow uh you know uh the kick and the bass uh cohabitate at the same time in your beat that's in your mix so let's go into this video right away don't forget to like and subscribe as i'll be bringing more simple tutorials that would lead you uh to you know getting good and greater results in fl studio so let's go into this right away this is my beat and this is my uh, uh kick and bass if you can hear uh, at the top they are kind of clashing so the best thing to do is actually click on my kick because uh what i actually want to do is uh, i actually want uh what i actually want to do is i actually want my uh kick and bass to actually cohabitate to actually sound good at the same time uh, so what i will do is i'll click on the kick and then come here and click on the bass that is this is the kick and this is the channel for the bass so what i will do i'll just click on here so when i click here all i will do is to you know come to the bass and add as you can see i added a fruity limiter so once I add the fluidity limiter, all I need to do, normally the fluidity limiter is on the preset and for the preset, uh, it's always on default like this. So what I will do is, I will click on the compressor, that's the comp. I will come to sidechain and take it, scroll it to one. When I scroll it to one, I will come to the threshold and you know drag the threshold to around negative uh 5 db and then the knee to somehow somewhere around uh 78 percent let's say uh 69 or 70 percent and for the ratio i'll go for one point let's go for 2.0 and this is it so let me play our kick So what this does is that let's look at our kick. As you can see, it's showing us the level of compression here. That means what this is doing is it is telling uh it is it is actually this uh part this uh, thing I just did is actually telling our limiter, our fruity limiter that when the kick comes in, you can actually uh press the bass to go down tell the bass to go down a bit that is so that uh the kick will have to sound and the bass will have to sound too at the same time it's actually reducing the loudness from the bass so that the kick and the bass will sound at the same time okay and this uh this pattern actually also allows your bay your kick to actually sound uh you know more stronger and uh to actually hit uh much more so uh for this uh beat in particular that i did i actually uh did something this is our kick as you can see i have a lock drum too so i actually did i actually did the, the same thing for the kick as you can see this is the channel for the lock drum and this is the channel for my for my kick so i actually had to route to to the lock drum so that when the lock drum starts playing too uh, it will actually give more space so let me just play the whole beat so you could understand what i mean as you can hear three of them from the kick the bass and log drum are actually uh you know cohabiting co at the same time and they're actually sounding very nice at the same time so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel thank you